Ciao, I am Nadi Fiori. I'm here in Edinburgh and we will be talking about Intertrade, my old company. I was born and lived always in Rimini, which is a nice city by the coast of the Adriatic seaside, you know. So at the very beginning, uh, my older brother, we started eventually buying this restaurant called Taverna degli Artisti. We were open summer and winter, and slowly the, the, the restaurants started doing well. I, we had a, a Scottish friend, certain Mike Clark, living not far, coming not far from, from Glasgow. He was telling us, of, oh, Scotch whiskey, you don't have anything, blah, blah. He was a fan of Lafroy. Nobody knew Lafroy at that time. Never seen in my area, only hearing about, you know, hearing. Sometimes you need to have something that other restaurants or other bars don't have, you know, just to have something different. And that probably has been the very first step, you know. And then we went on for a while without thinking about bottling. And as a matter of fact, my very first bottlings had been done with Robert Watson, the company, Aberdeen. I met him in a hotel on the D side. Uh, on a hotel, they gave me an appointment. I, dro I drove from home that time. I drove from home with, with the car so on the way to go to the appointment on the D side. He was there fishing. And, and then I sampled three casks of whiskey, which I liked. That was Glen Grant, Glen Fiddick, and Glen Livet. That were the big names at the time. So a friend approached me, a customer from of the restaurant and friend, personal friend. Why don't we do something more, uh, say, uh, that, uh, oriented for selling? At one point, of course, I started buying different bottles out of the crowd uh, from these small importers. And I ended up with somebody that was importing Gordon McFay stuff somebody from Turin. And the salesman told me, okay, but if you go to Scotland, go and, and see the people, they are nice people, only go and see Mr. Arca. And one day that I was in London, I said, okay, let's go, let's go up north, you know. And we went, we came to Scotland. At that time, in late 70s, not, it was not easy to travel by car to Scotland, you know. No motorway, no A9, no big roads, you know, and no hotels, no communication. You had no internet, okay, let's go there. No. You were traveling these small villages, small. But after seven or eight o'clock, nothing to do. No, no, no signs, no restaurants open. And then we went to Gordon McPhail, rang the bell, went up the stairs, and, and we clucked, you know, we did very well immediately. So he became a very good friend. We became a fashion author. And then he was coming to Italy, I was coming over here. And and I was saying, what about doing some single cask, you know, potting? Okay, Nadi. It was a discovery. People were discovering the whiskey at the time, in the 80s, you know. I really fell in love with where the shared whiskies like the long morn or so. In the past was, as you know, a very simple occasion to buy a second-hand cask from, from importers of sherry. In the, back in the 60s, sherry was popular in this country. But not, now, not nowadays. In the past, I was traveling quite much to make personal deliveries. It's nice to know the, the customer. So, it's, it's a, an extra and an extra something that comes to you, knowing the people. I never made money. I mean, I'm, I'm not good. I'm, I'm not good in that, but I've been good in making good friends, and that is a good richness. Thank you. I thank you, guys.